In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT based smoke detector system using Node MCU SP8266 Wi-Fi module, MQ135K sensor and Blink application. The sensor value can be monitored in real time from anywhere around the world. With the sensor value crosses a certain predefined value, a notification message is sent to the concerned person. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company which is one of the top leading companies throughout the world. The PCB board Gerber files can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In this episode I will cover number 1 MQ135 sensor pinout explanation. Number 2 complete circuit diagram explanation. Number 3 PCB board layout explanation. Number 4. Soldering. Number 5. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module programming. And finally, number 6. Testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the MQ135K sensor which is quite sensitive to benzene, alcohol and smoke. The output voltage of this sensor increases as the concentration of the gases increases. This sensor is famous for the fast response and recovery. The sensitivity can be adjusted very easily using this variable resistor. To power up this sensor you need 2.5 to 5 volts, which is perfect. You can use this sensor with Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This sensor is most commonly used as the air quality monitor. As you can see the MQ135K sensor has a total of 4 male headers, which are clearly labeled as ground, D out, which is the digital output. A out which is the analog output and VCC. This is the complete circuit diagram of the IoT based smoke detector system. As you can see the circuit diagram is very simple. This project can be divided into three sections. The power supply, the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the MQ135K sensor. Let's first start with the power supply. The power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power check and this is where we connect a 12 volt adapter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ground is connected with the ground. SV1 and SV2 are the female headers. The ground of the MQ135K sensor is connected with the ground of the node MCU module. The A out pin is connected with the analog pin 0 of the node MCU module and VCC is connected with the 3.3 volts pin of the node MCU. ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. I have already explained the PCB designing. I will provide a link in the description. If in case you want to learn how to make your own PCB using the Gatesoft Eagle PCB designing software. After I was done with the PCB designing, I generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. These are the PCB boards which I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see, the quality is really great and everything is as per the order. The cell screen is quite clear. The Blake solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. The Gerber files of this PCB can be downloaded from the PCBWay website. You can find link in the description.
VCC pin of the MQ135 gauge sensor is connected with the node MCU module 3.3 volts pin. The out pin is connected with the A0 pin of the node MCU module and the ground of the gauge sensor is connected with the ground of the node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the new project and enter the project name. Click on the Choose device and select Node MCU. Make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi. Finally, click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID which later will be used in the programming. Click anywhere on the screen and search for the notification widget and edit. Again click on the screen and this time search for the gauge and edit. Click on the gauge. Set the gauge name. Click on the pin and select virtual pin V2. Change the font size. Click on push and select one second. That's it. Our application is ready. Now let's discuss the Node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries. You can download these libraries from our website. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. The MQ135 gauge sensor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module. Data is a variable of the type integer and this will be used for storing the values coming from the MQ135 gauge sensor. GetSynth data is a user-defined function and is called every one second. In the while loop function, we have only two functions which are the timer.run and blink.run. As I said earlier, the get send data is a user defined function. This function has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. This function is used to read the MQ135K sensor and send the value to the Blink application where this value is displayed on the gauge. This condition is used to send a notification message if the sensor value increases above 600. So that's all about the Node MCU programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.